First of all, thanks to all my Patreon supporters for their insane support they are providing. And this video is sponsored by my patrons. Thank you very much, guys. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, it's been a while since my last video, I know. Uh, but yeah, I was very, very busy and uh, I just didn't want to stress myself with all this uh, extra work. So the good news is uh, I will have a lot of time now uh, and I didn't get fired. <laughs> It's just that the job became a lot easier um, and I'm stressing a lot less and now I have some time for my hobbies and game development, of course. So today's video, um, it's gonna be pretty simple. Uh, I just wanna make uh, the first video short just to warm it up, come back uh, and uh, today we're just gonna uh, do opening HTML link, uh, I mean just opening any uh, link uh, to the browser from your game. So there is a quite couple ways to do it and maybe you wanna open it with the binding on your keyboard but most of you guys would like to open it in the UI of course. So let's show it how you would open it with a binding. So right now I'm in the third person template as you can see but uh, I will go into my PP third person character and I will just show you how to do it via blueprints. Uh, so you don't have to do it here in your third person character, but uh, it's just a good, um, good example because you can just do it anywhere basically. But in this case, we're gonna use the third person character. So let's say I want on P key, let's find P key on our keyboard and uh, let's see where where it is here picky so once we press the picky we want to open our browser with our link so it's pretty simple you just pull out the node and launch url and you're gonna have a string here and this string is basically gonna be your link so you can either promote this to a variable to, to make it more uh, flexible. Like for example, I can promote this to a variable and call it YouTube link. So the benefits of doing that is now I can post my YouTube link here. So this is my YouTube channel. And now let's, let's say for example, I change YouTube and I want to put uh, RubaDev uh, number two channel. I can just change this link without going uh, deep into the code. I don't even have to be here. I can be like somewhere here. I can press this and I can just change it. But of course, uh, this might not be required for your situations, but it's very good to be flexible. Also, you can uh, place it here. There's no mistakes. So right now, if I compile and go play and I'm playing and I press P, what's gonna happen is it's gonna load the YouTube channel for me. And here we're gonna have my YouTube channel. So it's very easy way, but let's show you how you can do it in the UI as well. So it's pretty simple. Uh, you will do the same, uh, you will do the same node, but let's make very simple user interface widget blueprint. And let's call it uh, will be test. Let's just make simple, very simple UI just to show you how it works. So we're going to get canvas panel. So we have somewhere to put our button and let's get our button and let's give him a little text like that. And let's call this text uh, YouTube. And now we can size this to content and now we have YouTube uh, button. So Right now it doesn't do a lot, but we can add some events on the button. So when we click the button, I just want to use the same node, launch URL, and here we can paste my YouTube link, just like that. So now uh, if I want to do, like be able to press it, uh, when I press P, instead of just launching it, I'll just create a widget 
it's going to be type VB test. I'm gonna add it to viewport. And also I want to set show mouse cursor, but first we need to get our play controller. So what's happening here is instead of just pressing P, I'm just showing you this for uh, test purposes. Of course, you're gonna have your UI and you're not gonna uh, have the same uh, same stuff as I have here. But basically, you would do just the same. It's very important that you re remember that this is the whole function. So you get a button. You go to the event on clicked and basically just put the node there. So now from the get player controller, we can simply set show mouse cursor. And what this is going to do is basically once we press P, we're going to get the UI. And if I press the UI, as you can see, it's opening my YouTube. So yeah, it's very, very simple uh, tutorial, nothing too special. I uh, just wanted to show you around and wanted to warm you up guys for the incoming tutorials because I'm going to be active from now on. Thank you very much for your continuous support. Uh, if you haven't checked, I do have a Patreon in my uh, description and there you can find some extra stuff that you would like, uh, like for example some models and stuff, coupons, uh, discounts, etc. So that's it. Thank you very much guys and see you in the next episode. Bye.